In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to blur in PowerPoint. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to blur a picture. This is a picture of an owl, and at this point it hasn't been blurred. But slide number two, I blurred the owl. You can see it's now blurry. Not very much, but a little bit. Now what happens if you want to blur everything except for maybe the face of the owl? Well, in slide number three, I will show you how I blurred everything in this slide except for the face of the owl. Okay, we're going to start off with a slide of the owl. And so we have a sharp image of the owl. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that slide. So I'm going to go up here and hit duplicate slide. It's going to bring up a, a second slide. And in this slide is the slide we're going to work with. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, to blur this slide. So this is how we're going to blur a photograph, any photograph that you might have in there or any image you might have on a layer. So the first thing we do is select the picture, go up to picture format, go over to artistic effects, click on blurred, which is right over here, the second row for this one over, and we come down and now we have a blurred image of our owl. So here's the first image. You can see the eyes are sharp, they stick out. Second image, the eyes are almost gone, the, the light in the eyes in the blurred image. So that's how you blur an image in PowerPoint. Now, step number two, we want to blur a specific area. Say we want to blur everything except for the face. And here's how we do that. We go in and the first thing we do, we're on the second slide, first thing we do is select the image and I'm going to do a control D, which will duplicate it. I'm going to bring it back in here and try to line it back up as close as I can. We're going to go up to the top to the picture format, click on picture format, and over here we see a crop. We're not going to click the top crop. We're going to come down here to the drop down menu. We're going to select a, because we want to just do that face, this area here. We're going to come down here and select an oval shape. And now we have our oval shape. We're now going to come over to the Format, format picture menu. We're going to go over to the far right where it says picture. We're going to come all the way down and you see right here we have crop. First thing we're going to do is we're going to resize that, that circle. So I found out that uh, 1.5 width with a 1.5 height will make it the right size and we see it right over here. Now to line it up where we want it, we've got to go over to the right. So we're going to go uh, about six and about uh, three. And now we're getting pretty close to being lined up. So we go down here and we're just going to line things up a little bit. And the first next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the crop sign up at the top. And now we're in a position where we can crop. I think there's a few little changes we need to do. And then we're going to increase the size of this circle so that it fits a little better. And now we're going to do a crop again. And now that is cropped out. Now, if I move this, you'll see we have our head and this lined up. Okay, so we're lining up our head. However, our, our this was cropped from a blurred image. So what do we do? We come over here to the effects, and we with this face selected, we do reset, and now it's no longer blurred. And that's how you can take out a particular area and unblur it, or do the reverse. If this was not blurred, and I wanted to blur this, you can do the same process. Welcome to part two of this tutorial. In this part, we're going to talk about how to apply a blur to a background. So we have an empty slide, and now we need to insert a picture. Now we could go up to insert and insert a picture the normal way, but that's not how you do put it into the background. To put it in the background, what we have to do is we have to go into design, go over all the way to the right to format background, click on that, and format background appears. We go down to picture and or texture fill, click on that, and then go down to picture source, go to insert from file, insert our picture, and here's our picture of our office building. 
we're now going to blur that building. How do we do that? We go over to the effects section of the format background, click on that, and we have artistic effects. We see that we have a drop down menu over here on the right portion of that. We click on that and we come down right here to blur. Click on blur and now our building blurs. Now we also have the radius where we can increase the amount of blur. So I'm going to go in here. Let's put in 25 and we're going to blur the building 25. You see it's blurrier than it was. So that's how you blur a background. Now there is a second way that you can blur a background other than the way I just showed you and we're going to cover that right now. So we're going to go over to reset. When I hit reset it's going to make our picture sharp again. Now we're going to go over to the picture menu and we have picture correction. We're going to go over to presets where it says sharpen and soften. We're going to go to presets. We're going to go down and here we have a level of softness or basically a blur. So we're going to go back to the 50%, click on that, and guess what happens? We've now blurred our building again. You can also use this process on just doing the photos on layers as well. So it's basically the same process as going to artistic effects, except it's under picture correction under Sharpen and Soften. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.